Congressional impeachment inquiry is set to enter a new phase today. This morning, the House will conduct the first public hearing into the White House dealings with Ukraine. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio joins us live in the studio. Patricia, what can we expect today? Well, you can certainly expect a lot. In the weeks leading up to today, to today, it has been very interesting to see how vastly differently Republicans and Democrats view the president's phone call with the president of Ukraine. Both sides will now be making their case that the president's actions were or were not impeachable offenses. President Trump last night returned to the White House on the eve of the first public hearing in Congress's impeachment inquiry. Democrats in Washington would rather pursue outrageous hoaxes and delusional witch hunts which are going absolutely nowhere. Don't worry about it. Democrats are investigating whether the Trump administration pressured Ukraine to open politically motivated investigations using military aid as leverage. I think you're going to see the cream of uh, our diplomatic corps speak truth to power. The top diplomat in Ukraine, William Taylor, is one of two State Department officials testifying today. Taylor is expected to tell lawmakers that he learned the White House set conditions in exchange for nearly half a billion dollars in aid that had been temporarily withheld. Taylor will be joined by George Kent, a deputy assistant secretary of state. In a deposition last month, Kent said the White House wouldn't release the funds until Ukraine's president publicly announced investigations linked to the president's political rivals, including Joe Biden. Republicans have rallied around President Trump and are planning to aggressively question both the witnesses and the inquiry itself. They're relying on people like Bill Taylor as a star witness who is going to tell us something that is third or fourth hand information. Now, the hearings will resume on Friday with former Ukraine Ambassador Maria Yovanovitch. And, of course, you can watch the hearings on CBS and on the Channel 3 app. Coming up in the next half hour, more on the strategies of both parties. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.